We'll move on to Mr. Myers. Okay. Many of Pennsylvania's water supply and sewer systems are decades, if not centuries old, and are crumbling and decaying. Some have estimated that the bill for bringing Pennsylvania water and sewer systems into compliance with state and federal requirements would cost over $15 billion. One particular problem is the combined sewer systems that plague many communities, including Reading. What strategy would you offer to address our water and sewer infrastructure needs? We already have pro pro programs in place that communities can utilize to help address some of those issues, and Reading has. For example, we have PennVest funding, which could be a combination of grants and loans. We have PennWorks, the PennWorks program, which specifically targets communities for developing the kind of infrastructure that they need. So there are programs in place, there's some funding, but you know what would be even better if we worked regionally to address this, rather than just individual communities deciding I'm going to put in a package plant or we'll deal with our program. We need to think regionally about this type of infrastructure. It's long overdue. And to foster that, the state could offer some incentives um, rather than, you know, just sticks to, to fine communities for not being able to meet to attain some of the, the quality standards that they need to do. We need to find them when they pollute, absolutely. But we could support them and help them to actually put in that infrastructure. It's really costly to do this. So the state has to be a partner in doing it. But we'd be, be better off doing it regionally. More effective, more efficient. Mrs. I'd Mogul, a minute and a half. Thank you. Um, I believe that the grants are a great way to go. I don't think that is uh, the complete solution. Um, I know that um, just an article in the paper the other day talked about raising more taxes and putting more uh, burdens on the taxpayers with street light taxes and things like that. I know in particular in Burn Township, um, we have friends that live north of 183 and they were actually forced to go to public water and sewer when they had a perfectly good well system and a, a septic system. And so um, I believe that um, this needs to, to really, we need to sit down and take a look at what's going on here and why people are being forced to go to public water and sewer when they have a perfectly good uh, system there. We in particular have a well and um, a sand mound and we do just fine. And so we wonder at what point are they going to take and put this cost onto us and tell us that we have to hook into systems. Um, I also know that in the Poconos they've done that and it's failed, it's failed greatly. They figured that they could have the schools pay for it through property tax and they're not in a good way. And we can't continue to keep forcing people to do things that there really isn't a need for at this point. We need to focus on other things you have a one minute rebuttal? The only thing that I would add to this, um, or diverge from that actually, is remember that this infrastructure is about economic development too. When companies come in, they have to have water and sewer infrastructure. So sometimes that's the case as to why communities do decide to do that. But there's also a pollution issue. And I was, um, can tell you one example of that. I worked with um, Richmond Township, the borough of uh, Virginville. I don't even think it's a borough, it's a village. There are an awful lot of people on low or middle incomes that they were required to go onto a sewer system because water and sewer, sewer system, excuse me, because they, their sewer, um, their leaky sand mounds and in-ground systems were actually polluting their drinking water. A house without water is not a house you can live in. So you need to, what we did was we brought PennVest in and worked with them to get the lowest possible rate we could for uh, people to buy in. It's not easy, it's a heavy lift but sometimes it has to be done. Do you have a follow-up? Thank you. Okay. Mr. Myers, do you have a follow-up? No. 